Good morning. So I'm Greg Franklin and I work with uh, ServerPress and also I am a co-organizer for the Inland Empire meetup. Um, and let's see, let's go ahead and get started. So the benefits, there's several benefits to working locally. We, we feel that that's the best practices. A lot of people go ahead and set up a site online and they'll make changes to the live site. And we call that cowboy coding. And that's because it's kind of like you're working in the wild, wild west. And there can be times where you make a change and, and drastic things can happen. So we think working locally is the best way to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you some ways to do that. Uh, and working locally is gonna also speed up your workflow. It's going to be faster because you're not having to up, upload files back and forth, refresh, all those kinds of things using FTP or something like that. It also hides the site from anybody in the public and you can work from anywhere. So you can be on a college campus, you can be on your airplane, you can be anywhere and still be able to work on your site all locally. So what do you need to be able to work locally? You need the same kind of tools that are up on your web host. And those tools are things like Apache, which is a web server. And it display, displays HTML and CSS. Uh, you're going to need a database. My, WordPress uses a database for all your content. And that database is a MySQL database. So we need that also. And then WordPress uses the language of PHP to be able to communicate between your uh, creators of the web pages and things like that to the database. And so those are the three pieces that we need to be able to get started. Some other choices that are out in the market besides desktop server, which we're using today, is varying vagrants, MAMP, and WAMP. And there's even a few others out there. Varying vagrants is kind of a command line type, and it's very useful for if you're doing heavy development. This is a great tool for that. MAMP is specific to using on uh, Macintosh, and then WAMP is specific for using on Windows. Desktop server does very much the same things as MAMP and WAMP does, but specific to desktop, to WordPress, and that it can spin up a website for you in a couple of minutes. And so it's specific to that. You don't want to work live because it's so stressful. <laughs> Because there's times when something as simple as leaving off a semicolon will cause this white screen of death that we were talking about. And you do not want to be having your live site going down. And if you make changes that it can cause this kind of a type of thing, or even something as simple as installing a new plugin, can actually take a site down. Because they could be a conflict between another plugin, and you would not know that unless you tested it. And so working locally gives you that your, I, we like to call it the sand box. It's a place for you guys to play in. You can try out new themes. You can try out new plugins. You can try out plugin combinations to see if there's going to be any conflicts. And when that new plugin, you go to a meetup or you go someplace and they say, try this plugin. Try it locally first. See if it's going to cause any problems. When new WordPress, you hear about all the time about WordPress doing its upgrades. Sometimes it's great to go ahead and try that upgrade first locally to see if there's going to be any issues on your site that's live. And now I want to go ahead and take a little bit of time to show you desktop server and show you what you're going to be working in today uh, throughout the rest of the day. Okay, so and let's see. I'm sorry? Will we be able to get copies of the slides? The slides are on that link. It's on every single okay. one down there. Thank they're, you. they're all there. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And let's go ahead. I'll bring it back, I promise. I promise. Is it okay if I close all these? I'm, I, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm so... No worries. If you just go to slides.com, uh, excuse me, slides.macromwell.com, there's some, you'll be able to find it through the navigation. Slides.macromwell.com, and then you'll see WordCamp 2016 San Diego. Just, you can navigate there pretty easily. By the way, I have almost the same job that Matt does. I work with desktop server and I answer questions all day long. <laughs> and all kinds of topics, the same thing like he mentioned. It's not just WordPress, sometimes we get all kinds of topics all day long. 
So after you install desktop server, which hopefully most of you are now, you will get an, a, a, a site, a page like this here. This happens to be the premium version, but you guys have the limited version. But the, what we would do is we can come down here to create a new development website. We would hit next. And you would be able to give that site a name, anything that you'd like. You don't even have to use the www. So I'm going to go ahead and make a site here. We'll just call it Bootcamp. And then one of the nice things about desktop server versus like MAMP and WAMP is the ability to choose and create blueprints. Blueprints is starting a project the way you like to start. So maybe you like to start with a certain set of plugins or a certain theme. Those can all be in that blueprint. And when you spin it up, all that will already be there. So it's a big time saver. It saves having to click all those kind of things. And the blueprint also gives you the ability to add yourself as a user and any kind of permalink settings. All that kind of stuff can be all done and ready to go. We don't have Lucy. I'm going to go ahead and, and use a different blueprint that I'm going to recommend. When we gave you the link for desktop server, we gave you a blueprint also called Lucy's Blueprint. And it's, when it starts up, it adds three plugins for you automatically. It adds two for Lucy and one for Matt. And you'd be able to use that. This one doesn't have that, but I'm going to go ahead and start up with just the basic one so that you can see what that looks like. And when it says site root, that is the location on your hard drive where it's going to be located. I'm going to say create. It's going to create a folder. It's going to put all the WordPress files, those PHP files I was telling you about, into a folder. It's going to create a database. It's going to create all the database tables and all the database files. It's going to write an entry into the host file, which is a file that lets you, when you type into your browser the name of the site, it knows where to go. Almost like an address book. Give that a minute to load up. Yes, you would create each site by doing a, a creation like we're doing right now. And with the limited, it gives you three. The premium, it's unlimited. You can build as many sites as you want. We'll hit next. And you'll get a link. And if you click on that link, it's going to take you to your browser. And it's going to bring up the five, what they call the five minute install, which is really quickly. Go ahead and hit continue. And we'll call this one boot camp. And we'll just put Greg. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Install. Install. There we go. Okay. <coughs> there we go. So now at this point, I can say log in. I can choose myself. And we now have a fully functional WordPress website locally. We can do anything we want to this site now. Add plugins, everything else that we need to do. And you can take this anywhere. You do not need to be on the internet. And you can do all that. And when it's done with the premium version, you can do a deployment. It'll upload it to any web host and set it up. And we also have the ability to do an import. So you can go the other direction. If you already have a WordPress website and you want to work on it locally, you can create an archive using something like Duplicator, a plugin that's free, or Backup Buddy, or Backup WP, any of these types of plugins that create archives and import it right in. Yes? This is only with the premium version? The import and export is with the premium version. That's correct. Uh, what is the price of the premium version? Premium version is 99 a year. And that includes upgrades and premium support. But here at WordCamp, there's a 20% discount. So if you use WCSD, you get 20% off. In, in just, in just today only? I think it's for a week. For a week. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Do you need another plug in, or is the functionality already built into uh, desktop server? To, to do, in other words, if I'm working in desktop server, I'm uh, more or less just keeping it to myself, or if I was working with a colleague who's also in desktop server, mm -hmm. would I be able to do an export from desktop server to a local thing and they could import it? Yes, they can. Plug no. Okay. That's correct. All right, cool. What you said is correct. Um, do you, I don't have anything else if you want to go ahead and if there's not any other questions. Is anybody who is not yet set up with their local environment? Let's spend the next uh, 10 minutes or so and volunteer so let's grab somebody um, and uh, let's make sure that we get that all set up. So let's